Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Market Misfits. We're going to do a recap on the ISM services PMI. We're going to take a look at this article for XRP, and then we're going to look at the XRP chart. So let's start off with the article, and then we'll get into the chart. So this is going to talk about the, the biggest drop that we've seen in a while whenever Bitcoin broke the resistance and hit 45K, 45.5K, and then dropped. So this is what happened with XRP. So, but it's showing signs on smaller time frames that we could be about to see a recovery. So, I wanted to get on here and cover this real fast. XRP records the largest drop in five months, but a potential rise looms. Details: XRP recently witnessed its biggest drop in five months, but the token's technicals currently point to a potential price reversal and an imminent rise. The crypto market recorded one of its most substantial crashes in a long while on January 3rd. So several assets, including Bitcoin and Ethereum, witnessed massive losses. XRP did not escape the onslaught, dropping 20% from $0.63 cents to $0.50 cents in less than four hours. This slump, XR, this slump marked XRP's largest price decrease since August 17, 2023, when it collapsed to $0.43 cents. Despite, despite staging a recovery from the latest drop, XRP extended or in, ended January 3rd with a 6.69% loss amid sustained bearish pressure in the broader market. XRP, XRP faces bearish pressure. The recent price collapse resulted in XRP drop into the 50-day exponential moving average, currently at 61 since this development signals bearish momentum for the crypto market and in the short term, January 3rd saw massive sell-off sparked by liquid liquidation of short and a surge of in 24 hours trade volume to 3.4 billion. While short-term momentum remained largely bearish, XRP's long-term outlook is currently indecisive as crypto assets now trade around the 200-day EMA. Around the 57 mark, the bulls would need to push the token well above this level to retain long-term bullishness. Amid a downward spiral, XRP has defended the 56, basically 57 mark, attempting to seal its position above 57 territory. Market participants have begun re-entering the scene with growing demand as investors look out for per potential recovery. Trade volume, which collapsed, 50, collapsed 57% amid a lack of investor interest, has now witnessed an uptick rising to 1,507,502,496 dollars as of press time. Nonetheless, open interest remains 5% down with der the derivatives market as traders continue to lick the wounds of the recent mass liquidation. So this is going to go over some charts and talk about this uh, this commodity channel index CCI. I'm not familiar with this, but we're going to look at it with the relative strength index. It's basically saying the same thing, but this is very like uh, exasperated or exaggerated. I guess you would say, drop to drop to negative two hundred eighteen. But um, let's take a look and see first what happened with ISM Services PMI, and I'm gonna. We're going to attempt to show you how this is all connected with Dow Jones and Bitcoin because we are getting a price match. So we were doing good for the dollar. ISM services came along. This is right. This was happening as we were making the last video. And then, boom, we got smacked right here. So let's take a look at the dollar index and see what this looks like. So, so previously on the previous video, we went over this descending broadening cone. And we recently just broke that structure as the news was happening, all green for USD. Then we got smacked with the red at the ISM services PMI. But so we recently just dropped this in the in the signals channel on Telegram for the Dow Jones. So this is going to reflect in Bitcoin once we take a look at it. Let's take a look a little closer here. We're on the one hour time frame Dow Jones. So We bolstered up quite a bit. We broke this descending wedge. This is our setup here. It's looking for a pullback a little bit deeper into this, but you know, getting in on the break, you know, and the potential upside for this is pretty big. One thing that is concerning a little bit is are these gaps down here. But um, let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick. And then we'll take a look at XRP. 
but let's just keep this in mind right here, this price action that's happening. So let's go to Bitcoin, but here it is right here. So here's the descending channel. On the Dow, it's a wedge, but this is looking more like a channel to me. So we're a little bit behind from what the Dow Jones is. We got bullish engulfing here on the hour. We have these wicks. It's looking more bullish. So the price to beat right now would be 44 and a half K right here. So we'll be looking for an hourly close to break this structure and then also to break this higher structure and see what happens up here. Because if we break here, here, if we break these areas and we continue up, if we happen to break these and continue up, turn this support and come through here and we get a strong reversal here on as a continuation, like a double bottom on a pullback. So that would be a continuation and turn these into support and keep going. Then that would pretty much to me mean the, the game was on again, you know, but that's not by any means saying that's what's going to happen, obviously, because we could see. I'm starting to lean more towards that because we're seeing the Dow go up, but leaning more towards, you know, the bullish scenario, but also keeping this in mind, too. At the same time. So we'll just have to see which way it plays out. Let's take a look at XRP. Here it is right here. Okay, so we had the Berlin Wall marked up right here. So this is the area between 55 and 50 cents, basically. So we dropped below this. And on the KuCoin chart, we actually took out this low. And it went down to 46 cents. Why there's such a big difference here, I don't know. Maybe the broker was just needing extra room to liquidate positions. Um, that's a logical, believe it or not, that's a logical explanation. So... Your, your brokers and stuff will be betting against you the majority of the time. Unregulated brokers, supposedly only unregulated brokers, but, you know, I don't really go into detail on this, but do you think that American-based brokers are any less crooked? Let me know what you think in the comments down there. Um, so we have that similar pattern here that we saw on the Dow Jones, it's reflecting here, XRP also behind. We have a bullish engulfing right here. It looks like we may be about to break this structure right here, this descending wedge. This is our setup. Let's pull out the, let's pull out the stochastic RSI and see what we got here. So we are running flat across the bottom, but this was going down. So that is divergence. We have a cross here. On the 14 in the moving average so there's a bullish cross pretty much a golden cross right here so to speak and that's lining up right with this pretty much a bullish uh bullish pin bar right here so it's looking bullish price to beat for xrp to be longer term bullish let's get this out of the way looking right here at 59 cents so we break into 60 cents then I'm assuming that we would more than likely continue up by looking at the Dow Jones and seeing how it's doing. But um, anyways, you guys, of course, not financial advice. Things can change in a second, you know, but typically after these types of events happen, the market takes some time to settle and to get this stuff priced in. Basically, what they do is this gives them permission to move the markets, these guys are not, they're not illiterate or, you know, um, deep in their emotions while they're doing this stuff. This stuff is strategically laid out and planned so that they can move the market. So when you see those mar market volatility swings, that's not because they're not sure what they're going to do. It's because everyone else in the world is loading up with positions and they're moving the market to collect them. And so, boom, we get this right here. They manipulate interest rates. They manipulate anything. But anyway, so with that being said, just take some time to let the market settle sometimes if you're not seeing a, a strong setup and, you know, we hadn't been in these markets for a while. So we're just kind of like trying to get our sediment, you know, get a feel for the sediment of the mar of these other markets as we're going to be trading them going into next week. But um, 
Let's take one last look at XRP. Just wanted to show this difference right here. I want to look at the Dow Jones just one more time. And then we'll hop off of here. Let's go back to, so we have this descending wedge. And then on the Dow, here it was right here. So this descending wedge. And you can see on the Dow, we're advancing. One last look at Bitcoin and we will get off of here. We're going to be dropping some signals inside of the Telegram. Also, we will drop a couple into the market misfits along with some updates of what to what's coming in the following week in the following month ahead. So for the whole month of January. But anyways, you guys, that's going to do it for now. If y'all have any questions at all, just reach out and holler, drop a comment, send a message. We will holler at y'all later. See ya.